the Rhino PD50 is uh, is actually run by air, and she'll hammer down or vibrate the post down. And in this case, we're pounding it down four feet, and it's taking about 30 seconds to actually pound it down in the soil. Uh, the hoses are run from the PD50 all the way to the boiler, and then into the air compressor. Yeah, today we're also using the bobcat and uh, a boom up on, attached to the bucket and that is to help lift the, the PD-50 up, that's 50 pounds, um, so the guys don't have to carry them. Uh, we have a lot of customers that call us and they're actually standing the, the PD-50 up and then climbing up a ladder, pounding it down and then sometimes even throwing it down to the ground, which I don't recommend. But uh, this way all the heavy lifting is off the guys and it's all on the bobcat and you can go from one post to the next all day long with no one getting tired so it just makes it a quick operation safe operation uh, we also you know we can tell that we got two chains on there one's a safety chain just in case one does break but uh, they have never broke but uh, it is there as a safety option uh, on the airports when we're doing the long you know the taller posts we got 15 15 footers that we pound in five feet in the ground we uh we typically use the tractor we can get it up a little bit higher we can see it a little better instead of the bobcat and uh, also using those, using uh, the bucket with the with the tractor, we can uh, we use the 150 or the PD 140, which is a lot heavier, and we don't want to carry those up and down a ladder or put it on a scissors lift. So the tractor or the bobcat with their boom, lifting it up and down makes common sense and makes things much easier. There is also one more thing you can get for the rhinos, and that's called a funnel. You can see where our guys are picking it up and putting it in that small hole. Uh, a lot of times on the bigger jobs, we'll have a funnel so that it's uh, it's easier to set it down on the post. It'll funnel itself in. Right now, that three-inch hole or two-and-a-half-inch hole that's up there, it's uh, pretty difficult to get a two-inch pipe in when you're uh, 10 feet up in the air. Uh, 